Most economists agree a recession will hit within the next two years, and even Republicans admit President Donald Trump is ill-equipped to navigate a downturn. The U.S. Manufacturing sector contracted for the first time in more than three years, another worrying signal as the global economy struggles under the weight of Trump's trade war with China, reported Politico. Advertisement The president and his current economic advisers insist Trump is winning the trade war and argue the only danger of a recession comes from media reports on the warning signs of a slowdown. The trade war with China is like following the bouncing ball. It changes one week to the next, said Stephen Moore, an informal economic advisor to the White House. My attitude is, once he gets the trade deal done, he is home free, politically. You cannot understate the importance of it. But one former senior White House official warned the president is getting bad advice, and lacks an understanding of the impact his trade war is already having on farmers and manufacturing. Frankly, I don't think he really understands any of this, the former official told Politico. The manufacturing slowdown, the lack of corporate investment, what's happening to confidence, all of this was totally predictable based on what he's done. But he sees it as a political advantage, that he can tell people he got tough on China and needs to finish the job, advertisement that official doesn't see things getting better, because Trump isn't going to hear any bad news from his advisors or on Fox News. The sad reality is that in the first 1,000 days of his presidency he managed to get rid of everybody who would tell him the truth or anything he didn't want to hear, that former senior official said. An economic slowdown would be disastrous for Trump's chances for winning re-election, but one former Republican aide lacks confidence that the White House can turn things around. Advertisement, the state of the economy is the single biggest factor in determining whether the president is re-elected, said Michael Steele, a former top aide to GOP House Speaker. John Boehner, and right now, it feels like they're riding a rubber ducky into alligator-infested waters, enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David E.K. Johnston's DCR e-port, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe.
Raw Story Readers Power David E.K. Johnston's DCR Eport, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. Unlike other news sites, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's blog ads. Why?